Hey guys, this is a very short announcement about our first online course, which is called Sense Making 101. And it's something that we're really excited about and working on for quite a while, thinking about it for a very long time and then working on it for quite a while. It feels very natural for us to move into this area because we've always been talking about the value of practice, the value of living out some of the ideas rather than just listening to them. And we're really excited because we have a really great faculty on board to help us teach the course. Um, so yeah, do you want to talk more about what people are going to learn on Sense Making 101? So we've put a lot of time and thought into designing this course and probably the easiest way to describe it is that it moves from the inside out. So the more we've explored concepts like sense making or collective intelligence on the channel, the more it's become clear that in order for that to happen, in order for us to have you know, emergent conversations or conversations that go somewhere that we might not be expecting, there's actually a toolkit of skills we need. Uh, to, to, let's say, play in that space. Uh, one of them is sovereignty. So this is a concept we've talked about a few times, and this is that sense of being connected to yourself. So having discernment and knowing who I am, where I'm going, and almost being sufficient to yourself, but at the same time being open and receptive to your environment. So that's a really core concept because that keeps us grounded. And then as well, there's another concept, which is the shadow. So the shadow we've talked about quite a lot, and that's the shadow is all the aspects of ourselves that we are rejecting in some way. And why it's important for this and for sense making is that if there's some aspects of ourselves that we're just completely unaware of, they come out sideways, as we say. So that means that we can't really enter into a genuine authentic dialogue because there's always some aspect of ourselves we're not fully bringing into it. And so we're not quite complete. So that's really key that we work through that. And then as well, there's a the concept of agency so that we know that we are thinking for ourselves, moving in a direction that we're choosing. And then once we've got these kind of inner skills, we can start expanding it out. So then we start looking at sense making. So looking at how do I make sense of the world? How do I discern by myself? And then how do I do that with others? Because it's two quite different things for me to have a sense of, okay, I, I've done my research. I know that I'm being discerning when I'm looking at say, you know, news online. But when we come together and start trying to make sense of the world together, lots of new dynamics come out. It becomes a lot more complex. So to do that, we have we have to look at, okay, how do group dynamics work? How does interrelation work? And how do we come in and out of coherence? And what's that process like? So we become skilled at that as well. And then we start looking even further, taking another step back and looking at what are the value structures we're working within? What's our environment? What are the wider systems at play? So the hope is, and our intention is, that we go on that journey from the inside to the out and we develop a lot of core skills along the way that we can then bring into our lives. Yeah, and I think it's important to say that we've been running retreats together, like we both trained as, as counsellors a couple of years ago, we've been running retreats together, mainly men's retreats. This is not going to be a men only course, it's going to be a mixed course. Um, so we've got some experience with doing that in real life and now we're trying to bring it a bit more into uh, the ideas that we've got on the channel and then into the sort of the wider online community. And, but we're not doing it alone, we've got an amazing uh, faculty who are going to be helping us out with it as well. And we wanted to play some clips from each of them to give a bit more of a sense of what they'll be delivering on the course. So we're going to start with someone a lot of people might be familiar with, uh, Daniel Schmachtenberger. Earnestness and sincerity, empowered by really deep courage and a deep kind of epistemic humility, is going to make someone misfit for every in-group currently, which is the valley crossing that people have to go through to basically leave the forces that are array arrayed in a war that where all sides are wrong. To hopefully have enough people who do that that start to find each other and don't do a new tribal group think thing, but all engage in earnest actual thinking themselves and actual conversation without orienting towards group think that can start to make a new strange attractor. So another favorite of the channel is John Vaveki, who's become a kind of bit of a cult hit online with his Awakening from the Meaning Crisis series. And I went out recently and spent a bit of time with him in Toronto and recorded this film that will be going out in the next couple of days where he talks about, and this is what he's gonna be talking about in the course, is wisdom. What is wisdom and how do we uh, embody it? Because it's much more than just a cognitive or an ideas-based thing. What is self-deception? What are higher states of consciousness? What is enlightenment? What is wisdom? What's our best cognitive scientific answer of that? And then can we use that 
to create what I call psychotechnologies and communities and ecologies of them that can give us back the cultivation of wisdom and self-transcendence and also connect us up to a worldview that valorizes homes, legitimates and makes sense of that set of practices. So we also have Diane Musho Hamilton, who's an award-winning mediator and also a meditation instructor. And Diane has a lot of expertise around the area of collective intelligence. And in this clip, she's talking about this other aspect that's quite closely related to it, which is coherence and about how this process of being in and out of coherence and the difference between coherence and difference is really essential for collective intelligence. My experience is create a lot of coherence and then heighten difference boom, and then you start to experience emergence. And how to heighten difference is the skill set. We're always trying to move everybody towards sameness, and we're trying to move everybody towards coherence, but actually what we need to be doing is helping people calibrate and move together highly coherently, and then really experience difference as it arises on an embodied level within the interaction, um, notice when it flips into threat, and try to calibrate difference and teach people how to be in difference because that's where emergence is more likely to, to really make itself, to really come forward is through this collision of difference. That's what happens. And we also have Raffia Morgan, who has been on the channel a couple of times. We're actually gonna bring out another film with him pretty soon, early in the new year. Um, an amazing facilitator, longtime friend, and a mentor of ours on Rebel Wisdom. It has become kind of central to the work that I do where I try and inspire people to get in touch with that inner longing or urge and let it guide them. And I really trust this is like one of the most precious things we have inside. That longing will take you where you need to go. So if I'm longing for freedom, which I am, it doesn't take me necessarily to freedom, it takes me in the direction of freedom, but it takes me to those places inside of myself where I've cut myself off from freedom, where I've put up a barrier. So the longing is very, um, it's very precise. If you really feel it, it takes you where you need to go, and where you need to go is where you shut down. And then we also have Doshin Roshi, who is delivering a session on the shadow which is a really core concept and one he's really an expert in. In fact, he's known as the, the Shadow Roshi, so we'll play a clip from him. We have to have collective ways of dealing with this collective shadow. And we've developed some, some collective shadow work, some group shadow work, where we, we really talk about these shadows and we work on them and we help people become conscious of them. So we thought long and hard about how to structure the course in the best way and what we're going to deliver is an eight week process and it's really a mix of working together, so working in small groups, having sessions with a live lesson and Q&A with a teacher, also access uh, anytime you want to exclusive interviews we've recorded with them and as well as that we have a pretty detailed course booklet so you can do uh, kind of further your study uh, as you have time to do so throughout the whole course. The course will be starting at the beginning of March and there will be limited places. If you've got any queries about it, we've just created an email address for it that's going to appear on screen now, unless I forget. Um, so if you want to ask any more questions about it, just send us an email to that. And yeah, go to the website. The website is in the show notes below and hope to see you soon.